Let's run it in with Shine. Thanks for joining us today. I had a question come up today. It's like a thought, but I wanted to get some feedback on it. Maybe if anybody out there watching is um, can send in a comment or a message to me. And let me know what your thoughts are. Have a little discussion about this. So I was talking to my client uh, just a few minutes ago. He's got some associates, and I went to uh, do a test clean for them. They've got some office buildings, and, uh, the, you know, the bathroom floors, the tile hadn't been cleaned in a while. I mean, it's clean, you know. Everybody cleans floors. You always have janitorial firms that do cleaning for you, but not, not a deep clean. Things start to discolor after time, and they start to collect and absorb all kinds of dirts and uh, bacterias and mil molds and mildews and all kinds of messes like that. So anyway, that's, that's what we do. We go in and we get all that stuff out. Uh, in the process, we make tile and grout look much better, but also we sanitize it and, and disinfect it so we make it a much healthier environment for everybody to be in. So the question was, uh, so I did these the test clean on two bathrooms, and they said, you know, it looks great, and we see the difference. We just don't think that the difference is, is significant enough for us to continue with more cleanings in the bathroom. See, uh, what I try to do is have them... Um, you know, go in for a contract on a quarterly cleaning because honestly, I think that about every four, every four months, every three or four months is when you should do a deep cleaning on your on your grout and tile, particularly in a commercial office building bathroom environment. Uh, lots of lots of people are using that environment and they're tracking stuff in from someplace else and they're also doing you know dropping things on the floor and spraying on the floor and all kinds of stuff. It's kind of nasty, but. You know, so you want to do it, and, and and the difference was significant, but not significant enough aesthetically wise for them to continue with more services. It's not budgeted work, so they they have money, but they don't necessarily want to spend it on that, which I I totally understand. But my question to you is, uh, you know now that your bathrooms haven't been cleaned properly for a long period of time and somebody has come in and showed you that you can have a much cleaner bathroom in a much safer environment for the people that use the bathroom it looks much better maybe not as significantly different as you would have originally hoped but much cleaner and much different but and different but uh, you know I guess there's a question of priorities there but what what is the cutting point so if you went to the dentist and the den 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 dentist said, we cleaned your teeth and we took out all the bacteria and the plaque that was on there and your gums look like they're in great shape now, but you've got some staining because, you know, maybe you smoke or maybe you drink a lot of coffee and the staining is going to be there on your teeth. Is your decision process not to continue to go to the dentist ever again? Uh, because you don't visually see much of a difference after your cleaning, even though there is a huge difference after your cleaning? Same thing with the bathrooms. Somebody has shown you that your bathrooms haven't been properly cleaned in forever. And that you can have them be cleaned. It's different, I know. It's not your body, it's a bathroom floor. And, uh, and you're kind of spending somebody else's money. But that's my question to you guys. Is, is, is it, uh, are you looking for a real wow factor? Or just the fact that somebody can show you that it can be done differently and better. Is that enough to continue? So at, for me, as a property manager, I've been a property manager, a commercial property manager for the last decade. Um, you know, somebody has just shown me that even though I've been paying loads of money for a janitorial firm to clean my bathrooms on a regular basis, they aren't very clean. You know, I, my options are to go back to the janitorial firm and see if they can do a better job cleaning, uh, which is probably going to cost me more money or change janitorial firms and see if another janitorial firm can do a better job or continue to hire a specialist to do the job that they've shown me needs to be done can be done in that bathroom. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know.